Hi everyone, I'm Jefferson Mendoza, a journalist based in Hong Kong. Inspiration comes in all shapes and sizes, and in some cases, creativity is well and alive in a family's home. Meet Filipino artist Janos de la Cruz, the son of Phil de la Cruz. Janos, thank you for joining me. Thank you, Jefferson. Thank you for having me. Now, with what's happening in the world, how do you feed your soul, your creative soul, to be exact? During this uh, pandemic, it is a mixture of good and bad. Bad because we are not able to be with our friends, with our family. But at the same time, this pandemic is also a blessing in disguise for artists because it allows us to introspect and at the same time to create works that is very meaningful and at the same time very timely. Now, in the book, Philippine Artists in Their Studios, published by Manila Bulletin, you had mentioned that all works always start with a dream. Now, with the intricacies of the mind and of the dreams that you experience, how does one manage to produce the final artworks that we see today? Um, as an artist, there is no such thing as a final artwork. Because artwork, for me personally, is continuously transforming. Like... When I, when I create an artwork, it always starts from a dream. And from that dream, I create poodles, drawings. And from those drawings, I transform them into paintings. And from those paintings, I reinterpret them into fine prints. So one concept is not just one artwork, but it is like a living organism, a living idea that transforms from one medium to another. Now, how would you define your artworks to the next generation of avid consumers of art? Uh, my artwork is, for me, it's a social commentary. Because as an artist, uh, we are the modern-day storytellers. We are like the oral, uh, oral storytellers of the past. And we are following those traditions. And as an artist, it is our job and at the same time our calling to tell the story of the times. And for me as an artist, I tell the story of my generation, the generation of a hybrid between Generation Y and the millennials. We are somewhere in between. We are like the bastard generation, which is a mixture between the past and the present. So I create work that is uh, both uh, serious, poignant, and at the same time, whimsical. So it is a mixture between uh, yin and yang, something dark, but something very colorful, something beautiful, and at the same time grotesque, something very sweet, but at the same time very noir or very um, melancholic. I had the chance to just look over some of your artworks online, and I wish I could actually feel and really maybe perhaps smell in the way you are transmitting a message to the person watching it. Uh, what about you um, in terms of... Uh, uh, what's next for you in terms of raising awareness about your artworks at, in, I mean, within the next few weeks, within the next few months? Uh, thanks for asking that question. Because actually after this COVID, uh, this, this uh, lockdown gave me the opportunity to, to create some very interesting works. And I'm planning to showcase those works in the following months. I actually have a group exhibition this uh, June. And I also have a solo show in July. And the topic of the artworks is about love, that love amidst uh, loneliness and the idea of finding oneself in silence, you know. Those are very deep words, uh, Janos. Quite uh, intricate again, coming from you. Thanks, Janos. That was Janos de la Cruz, Filipino artist based in Manila. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to share, like, and subscribe. I'm Jefferson Mendoza, journalist based in Hong Kong. Until next time.